Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Gospel music fans know our next guest from his hit songs, The Best Is Yet To Come, and My Jam, I Am Healed, and so many more. <laughs> Absolutely. Listen, he's a Grammy Award winning recording uh, ar ar artist, I'm sorry, choir master and producer, and guess what? He's here yes. to give us some love today. Yes. Please welcome Donald Lawrence. Yay! Right. Yeah, come on, yeah. Star. <laughs> what is jacket hey, come from? I love the jacket. How Thank are you? Thank you. I appreciate you. What's yes. up? Hey, good morning, good morning, all those things. Good afternoon, oh, yes. all those things. Yes, yes, yes. My yes. God, my God. Oh, great. <laughs> Don't you feel accomplished? Um, I feel accomplished sitting here with you, lovely yes, lady. Yes, so we sweet of Beautiful, you. yes. Y'all be cracking me out, man. <laughs> we just like to have a little yeah. fun. Yeah. Of course, else. this is Shy town love right here. Absolutely. I do. Shy town yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> great. Well, listen, Donald, it seems like your songs are, so, are sung in every choir in America. Wow. I thank mean, you. Mm -hmm. Literally. I mean, <laughs> where did you get that inspiration from? You know, um, I, I always tell everybody one of my biggest influences for that was Andre Crouch. His, mm. his songs were just timeless. He was a mentor and he really had the art of understanding how to write a melody that the melody is so strong that you can't get away from it, that you got to sing that and it mm -hmm. makes everybody want to sing it. But also, too, I think it's the lyric value as well that I usually try to s say stuff in the lyric mm -hmm. that, that people can go back to when they have their worst days. Yes. And, and, and when you have that kind of lyric, it just makes people want to sing it because it kind of changes how you feel inside the day. So mm. I've just always wanted to write like that. That's Ever so evolving. Yeah, no yeah, yeah. Where you are in your life, yeah. it always works. Yeah. Works, yeah. yeah. And mm -hmm. as, speaking of always working, <laughs> since your debut album um, in 1993? Yeah, 1993, wow. You have still been <laughs> moving and grooving. Moving and grooving. <laughs> Writing for the people and, and getting them to sing down I mean, for everybody I, else. I tell everybody, it feels like it's been 50 years Man. because wow. working on my own stuff while working on so many other mm -hmm. artists' things, you know, it just feels like it's double the Man. time, you know. But you it's, stay it's in been the studio, a, give it's, me a bit. It's, it's been a big blessing, a really big blessing, mm -hmm. yeah, for sure. So the Tri-City Singers, yeah. mm -hmm. tell me about that. How did that group come about? You know, it was a community choir in an area in the Spartanburg Greenville area Ooh. that um, when I was starting to, to to get into the business after college and stuff, actually I was um, Stephanie Mills' musical director. Yes. And I was out on the road with her, but while I would be out on the road, one of my good friends who was the choir master of that choir then would take all of my choir songs and teach it to them. And they would sing it so well, I said, whenever I get ready to do a choir album, I want to do it with this group. Wow. And when I finally got ready to do it, he wasn't the director anymore. The choir had kind of shrunk a little bit so mm -hmm. I brought like 15 or 17 of my childhood singing friends mixed it with who was there and we just rebranded the choir and mm. did the first album like that and that's kind of it just took off from there yeah, yeah. my god and, <laughs> and you have worked from there was first for, for you have worked with so many oh, amazing yeah. artists yeah. and I mean from secular to gospel yeah exactly um, what what I want to know is two things first of all what is your favorite what was your favorite collaboration and second of all why gospel since you have been able to clearly write across you know what i'm saying you know, people, across it's genres just, it's funny you ask me that because early on it really a lot of a lot of managers and everybody really expected me to really do mostly r&b because mm -hmm. i was kind of there and, and, and definitely touring with stephanie mm -hmm. in, my, in my early years well my thing is i think music is a lived experience and I, even though i could probably do it i don't know if it was my lived experience mm. and i think that what comes from the heart reaches the heart. And I right. think that because of how I grew up, it was either musical theater because of my education mm -hmm. or, or gospel. That's really kind of my lived experience and it felt more authentic mm -hmm. that way. But I never had a problem working with ar urban artists or even doing ur urban songs with mm -hmm. urban artists because I, I love all music genres. Mm -hmm. So it was really more so that. And I, I would say one, I, it's a lot of favorite collaborations, mm -hmm. but I would definitely say one of my favorites would have to be Layla Hathaway. Mm -hmm. Like Layla is like, she like on, yeah, yeah, she's just that. And it's not just her skill set, but it's something about her voice. I always say it for a producer, she's like a, a chameleon or a yeah. lizard. Like her voice changes no matter what the track is. It, it just changes colors with the track. So she's I would definitely say, yeah. say that. Right. And if you know me, I grew up loving the Clark Sisters. Like, yeah. okay, hands yeah. down, I got on Hello everybody's somebody. nerves yeah. with the Clark yeah. Sisters. So the Clark Sisters that was, that was, that was my, that was, those have been two of my, one of my, two of my favorite collabs, but it's been a lot, really honestly. Some people don't know that you are actually in Vogue's 
Oh yeah. Vocals, oh vocals yeah. I, you know what happened was one time I was out on the road with Stephanie for a Christmas tour, and they came to the show was in the Bay Area, mm -hmm. and they loved background vocals. I'm a background vocal connoisseur, so shout out to the Braxtons too. They should yes. sing because I love yes. I love yes. BGVs. I'm, yes. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a I'm a I'm a BGV guy. I love it. Like yeah. you know, I love I studied them. So um, you know, they heard the background vocals, and they just I went to Stephanie and asked her, um, and I mean Stephanie Mills. Mm -hmm. um, they asked her who did the vocal, background vocal arrangements, and mm -hmm. when they found out, they asked me to come and work with them. So I work with them for their Never Gonna Get It tour. So mm -hmm. when they got ready to do well, When we come stuff. back, we're going to learn about some more of your songs and features. All right. <laughs> we're with the groundbreaking Donald Lawrence. Yeah. And we're going to talk about his groundbreaking reunion album. Yeah. So stay with us. Shines in those wonders, bro. <laughs> we yeah. had one of the ancestors on that oh, song. Oh, yeah, yeah. We were sitting over here like, yeah. yeah. yeah now, we yeah. didn't Sir the Baptist down to the circle oh, yeah. before. Now, <laughs> what was your choice to choose him for this record, and what was it like working with him at, with this project? Well, you know, Sir is like a little brother for me. Um, honestly, Sir reached out to me for his album, and he was a big Tri-City fan, so he found mm. a way to blend what I kind of did with his mainstream hip-hop, mm -hmm. and he kept saying, come to the studio, come to the studio, and I was like, sir, what are you talking about? Because, you know, he's so eclectic, mm -hmm. you know. He's very I, unique. Yeah, he's, he's very yes. unique. He, when he finally got me there, and I was like, I don't know how to fit this into that. Mm. He said, do what you would just do. Don't think about it. So we just did it, and it just created this new kind of sound. That was and cool. Yeah, yeah. We, we, I call it past, present, and future. We blended, yes. like, the, the spirituals, the tribal, with classic Tri-City, with hip-hop, just blended it all in. It's called you know it's popping, right? It's yeah, 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 it's that's good. That's my dude. We we collab a lot. Actually, we, we're getting ready to do a European tour at the end of the year, so mm, we collab a lot together. Mm, that's that's good. Good. Really quickly, I want to go ahead and jump into your new single, yeah. Goshen, Goshen 432 Hertz. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Goshen 432 Hertz. Goshen is the body of land where the, the Hebrews lived. When okay. we talk about, the whole album really speaks about the story of Moses and the Exodus. So Goshen was where the Hebrews lived. One Pharaoh gave them, um, one Pharaoh gave them the land. Mm -hmm. Um, it was blessed by God, and another pharaoh thought they were getting too powerful, and he enslaved them. So oh. Goshen is considered God's protected place. So when mm -hmm. we pray Goshen, we pray supernatural protection for you, your family, and everybody Hallelujah. connected to Goshen. you. Yeah. All of we're praying yeah. Goshen. Yeah. 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 That's, that's, the, that's the whole I thing. It. He yeah, the whole, it that's, that's, that's what we're saying. We took it off the table. That's, we yeah. took yeah. it. And yeah. we yeah. got that's it what we're saying. That's what we're saying. Really quickly, Donald, this reunion album. Talk to us a little bit about the Tri-City reunion album. Oh, man, like I said, it was bringing them together after 25 years of of us coming out. we I retired the choir about 12 years ago, so we hadn't oh, even wow. sung together in about 12 years. I put them back in the studio. It was great. It was, you know, of course, logistically, it was challenging to get everybody back together, but once they got there, midways, they popped to the pop mm. and step to the mic. I, 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 just, I really hate to do I got this you. for you, no. but we love you so much. Good. Listen, if you <laughs> want to uh, go ahead and download Donnie's, Donnie Lawrence, uh, Tri City Singers, yeah. and the new Goshen, yeah. and He Heard My Cry, it's so streaming on all services everywhere. Cont conversations continue on socialmedia.com and Sister Circle, all platforms. Hello, yeah, yeah. there we go.